Adriana, thanks. New at 10, a warning from the Navajo Nation Police Department tonight. Officers are investigating several missing persons reports. It's all traced back to addiction treatment centers. And now they're warning tribal members about unknown recruiters who could be behind it. We're told that these recruiters pick indigenous people up from the Navajo Nation and then drive them hours away to the valley for rehab. But in some cases, they end up missing or stranded hundreds of miles away from home. Team 12's Chase Golightly spoke with two women who claimed that this happened to their loved ones. And Chase, what do we know about this very odd situation? Well, Grebe, Mark, the Navajo Police Department tells us they've never seen anything like this before, but have only received more and more calls of this happening. Every day, a new missing persons poster. In Navajo, they say, we have to keep an eye on everybody, and that's what we do. Placed outside this shop of Reva Stewart. Some of those seen here are believed to have been recruited by unregulated rehab centers in the valley targeting vulnerable Native Americans. Navajo police say they started noticing it in August. Those in the Navajo Nation being approached by strangers in white vans, offering food, clothes, and rehab treatment if they come with them. They are then driven hours away to Phoenix to be placed in what's described as a pop-up rehab facility. But police say they either end up stranded or missing. She was approached um, walking on the street. It happened to Stewart's cousin in New Mexico. She got in the van. There was... Um, she said for other people, they gave him alcohol. She was allegedly brought to a Phoenix home and was told to sign up for the state's American Indian Health Program, which officials believe is how these centers get their money. When she said no, they let her go. Rode around on the bus trying to figure out how am I going to hitchhike back. Stewart found her cousin and took her home safely. I have a sister that was also trafficked. But for Colleen Chatter's sister. And she passed while she was in that sober living home. Now both are fighting to spread awareness of what is happening. They say they are seeing those vans in the streets of Phoenix. They would stop at the bus stop, talk to somebody, go to the next bus stop, talk to somebody. Calling for the state to investigate these so-called group homes. They need to actually go in and start auditing, you know, where are these individuals coming from, where are they staying. To prevent more of these posters. Become aware of what's happening to your people. These are our loved ones. Now, some state lawmakers and the FBI is aware of this situation, telling us they're working with the Navajo Nation on this. And if anyone has information on those responsible, to reach out to their tip line. We're live in the Alert Center. Chase Golightly, 12 News. Chase, thanks.